As a follow-up to yesterday's post about editing documents Word Online with multiple people, I'd like to do a quick demonstration. It's probably easier to, to demonstrate this than, than to uh, you know write a blog post about it. So here's a, here's a quick video demonstration. I'm signed into my Office 365 account. You see my, my splay screen, my start screen for Office 365. Whenever I edit Word Online documents, I usually like to start in OneDrive. So we're going to do a demo. I've got Katie, my graduate assistant, here with me. Hello. Hello. So what we'd like to do is do a quick demonstration. I'm going to make a new folder because I like to organize my OneDrive by folders. So I'm going to make a new folder called uh, Word Online Demo. And we'll save that. And then I'm going to go inside of that folder, and I'm going to make a new document that I'm going to share with Katie, and we're going to do some co-authoring together. So we'll be able to edit this uh, at the same time. So if I click on New, go to New Word Document. You could also do Excel, PowerPoint, OneNote, or a survey, but we want to do a Word document. So the first time that I create a new document, I'm in edit mode. I have a basic ribbon interface across the top. So I'm going to first change my font to let's say size 28 and let me just change the color to blue uh, because we're going to be doing co-editing so I'm just going to say that this is computer one and then I'm I'm finished with this I'm going to you can't really save it because Word Online automatically saves things keystroke by keystroke but to get to, back to my OneDrive if I click on my name at the top left, so my, this account is called CEPS. So if I click on that name, it takes me back to OneDrive. You can see here's my document. Now it's called document. I'll fix this here in a, in a, in a second, but it's only shared with me. I created the document, but now I want to share it with Katie. So I've got Katie signed into another demo account. So I'm going to go up here and invite people. And the account is EIUITC. So I'm going to invite this account, and this one's a demo. Uh, I'm going to give them edit privileges because I'd like Katie to be authoring this document with me. And then I can quick type a quick message. Here is a shared document. And I'm just going to say, you can edit because I gave her edit privileges. And I'm going to require her to sign in. So I'm going to say share, and she should get an email from me very shortly. Get one yet? Okay, so if she clicks on that, there'll be a link that sh that she can click on and open up the document. Okay. Didn't make me sign in, so. Okay, uh, she's already signed in with the EIU ITC account. Now, by default, it's in view mode. So if you try typing right now, nothing's going to happen. You should see edit document at the top. So click on edit document, and then we want to edit online. We must both be in online in order to co-author. And I'm going to come back into the document now. Uh, and here we are. And once again, it opened up in view only mode. So I also must be in edit in Word Online. It will not work if you edit locally with the full blown Word program because we have to be in the cloud in order to collaborate. So I'm going to edit in Word Online whenever I go in. Opens up and she's already started typing. I can see ITCEIU is editing. That's Katie's account. And if you would change yours to, there you go, change it to red. So she's on computer one, I'm on computer two. I'm going to just type, this is an example. Katie, if you would, why don't you just do like Tech Talk for Teachers or something. Katie helps me uh, do some transcription and things. So she's typing down there in red and you can see me typing. We're both typing at the same time. And why don't you, yeah, just keep typing so people can see us both typing at the same time. So this is literally real time. And you see keystroke. I'm trying to keep it up here on the same screen. This is a test of the co-authoring. Come back and edit, whatever. Now I, I see that she's editing up here in the upper right hand corner and if I want to see exactly where she is, so she's about to scroll down past the screen, but if I click on this and select where she's at, you can see that it takes me to a red flag, so that's where her cursor is currently at, and she sees the opposite. I think mine's a green flag. Yes. So she can see me typing, I can see what she's typing, but we could share different sections. It's like, you know, when we do the transcriptions, um, she could do section one, I could do section two, uh, and as we share things. 
uh, back and forth. Uh, we can keep track. We always have the most up to date. There is no save button. Uh, the other thing is right now this is called document. So I need to, oh, it says I can't rename the, the file yet because uh, the only person, I must be the only person editing. So we've got two people in here. Okay, so I'll sign out. Okay, so Katie's going to close it. Right. Actually, she's going to click on that little. CEPS. Yeah, CEPS. So now then, I think she's out. It says, yeah, it says ITCEIU is no longer editing. So now then, since I'm the only one in the document, I can change the name. And this is the way that you change Word Online. So I can call this uh, Word Online Demo. And then I can put 10, 10, 2014, put in today's date, and then click off of it, and I've just changed the name. Now for me to go back to see it in OneDrive, I'll click on my CEPS name up here. And you can see right here, and it's the last change was a few seconds ago. You will also see that there's two people here, this little two-person icon that indicates that it's shared. If I want to see who I shared this with, I can click on that little icon, and you can see that the two accounts that I have shared. Uh, if I don't want uh, Katie to edit anymore, I can go out there and, oops, let me close that one out. I can go out there and say, stop sharing. But for now, we'll leave that one alone, and we'll conclude the demo here. Just wanted to give you a quick demonstration. That's co-authoring with the Word Online program.